Hi guys, this is just a short tutorial to teach you how to use TubiTube. TubiTube is a downloadable open source animation software that you can use in your classroom to teach your children how to do stop motion animations. So to start, once you've downloaded TubiTube to your computer, you're going to go to this first icon over here and you're going to create a new project. My project is going to be called Ball, so you type that in and then you can type in your name. And that's all you need to do until you're more familiar with the program. So that brings us to the screen. The main parts we're going to use on this screen over here to the far left you have a color wheel and a brush size editor. Um, we have the frames mode, the static background mode, and the dynamic background mode. You have animation and player you have where you choose your writing utensil, shapes, all of those things. And then over here on the right side are your frames. We are only going to have one layer, but we're going to have many frames to make our ball move across the screen. So to start with, you can create a um, static background that's going to kind of give us a path to trace for our ball. So I'm going to come and change my brush size to something smaller for me to follow. So I'm going to make it 9 inches and then I'm going to go click on my pencil and our ball is going to come across the screen and bounce on the bottom and then bounce off. And then if I want to smooth out that line I can come to this thing. These are called nodes. And when I click on my line it shows me where my line is not the straightest. So I'm going to kind of move this up just to make it a little bit smoother, I am not the greatest at this. Um, and so when I take the nodes, when I click off of it, my line's a little better than it was. Not a lot, but a little. So then I'm going to leave static background and I'm going to go into my frames mode. And I'm going to make this really easy. I'm going to choose about a 50 thickness shape, circle. I'm going to go to my color and we're going to do a tennis ball type so it's going to be we're going to make it a lighter yellow and then I'm going to click on my pencil I'm going to close that and that's all we have to do so we're going to come and remember my ball is is pretty thick in thickness so I'm going to make my ball start right here and that's my first frame so when I go to my second frame I can still see my first one right here because this is the onion, the layers, your onion. And right now I have 10 frames showing. So when I get ready to do my second frame, I'm going to scoot over just a little. And my ball didn't show up. Ah, it did. It just went right there. Okay, let's go back. The BDF tutorials. I'm going to scoot over just a little bit. And there's my second one. Same thing, I'll go to my third one. I can still see it there. I'm going to come over a little. And I'm just going to continue. And you notice I'm going to put my cursor where I see that line overlap. And I need to remember to kind of go down my line so I keep it moving in the right direction. I just keep adding frames and clicking my ball. And we're going to stop at 10. So there's 10. Now you want to make sure you save this occasionally. So we're going to stop and we're going to save my project. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop and keep going. Now you can check. You can go to your player and go down here and hit play. And there's our ball moving so far. I'm going to go back and finish and stop recording for a few minutes and then show you what this looks like at the end. Okay, now you can see I'm up to 30 frames. And so let's watch the player and see what the ball does now. So the ball has hit the bounce. I'm going to continue editing and pick back up in just a few minutes.
Okay, now as you can see, I am up to frame 63. You can see my ball going all the way across the screen. I'm going to save it and then let's go to player. And you can watch the ball bounce across the screen. It was very simple. It's a little bit time consuming, um, but that's how this works. Now, I'm in frames mode. I can come back here to static background and I can put a background on my page. So let's come to this. I'm going to put some grass on the ground. Let's check how big my, my brush is still big. So this shouldn't, and please, I'm terrible at this. So um, make a big swatch of grass through here. And you know it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of this. So I'm going to come back to my color wheel and I'm going to get bright yellow and we're going to put a sunshine in the sky. And then I think I'm going to make my pencil smaller. And we're going to make some rays coming off the sun like we did in elementary school. Okay. And then I'm going to come to the blue. Actually, I'm going to go really light blue. And we'll put some clouds in the sky. And then let's go to a light brown. I'm going to make my pencil thickness a little smaller. We'll do some elementary school birds. Oh, that was terrible. There's some better birds. I have a bird over here. All right, so now we have a background. So when I come back to my player, there's my background and I hit play and the ball bounces on its path. And that is basically how you use Tupi. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and check back with other tutorials of animation programs that I am going to be reviewing very soon. Thank you.